Hi, my name is Charmaine and I own a company called Conte Creatives Agency and our company basically is a creative um, company that houses an ecosystem of creatives and, pla and creates a platform for them to live in. So we do a lot of publication, print media, uh, digital media, where we actually take all their stuff, all their creative work, and we house it in there so we can ex give them exposure, get distributed, let them network, connect with other people that um, are in that same field, people looking for people within that field, and just you know, basically just create a house for creative to unite. So it's like a, a, an online uh, store or an online marketplace where everybody can put their portfolio? It's sort of like that, but there's something about having something physical. You know, um, online things, anyone can do it. But when it's physical, you feel important. It gives you that, it gives you that feel that you're almost like in an exhibition in a gallery where someone can actually see your stuff in a physical space. And that's another thing we do. We do events where when the magazine has launched, we house, we host basically all the people who were actually presented in the magazine, give them a space where they can actually communicate with their audience and talk to the people who are interested in what they were doing. Now all the uh, um, people that want to hire these creatives are usually very busy, so how do you get them to this physical location? Well, in this case, we are in, the, in a position where we're kind of just networking ourselves and uh, meeting the right agencies who might be looking for these people because it's very difficult to find the right person to fit into your company. So if we have a magazine or an uh, editorial space where we actually create a space where they can look at what exists and see, okay, cool, this works for me, I want this guy, he's the guy for me, and that's what we're doing. So why would you not go to a space where you can meet the right, the next, not to say Bill Gates, but the Bill Gates of creativity, like the Bill Gates of innovation, you know? Yeah, so that uh, does make sense. Yes. Uh, uh, <laughs> Um, so, how did you come up with this idea? Um, through pain and stress of being a creative myself, um, working for agencies back, back in France, trying to fit in, trying to be the right person for them, and it's difficult because they already have a vision that I have. I have a different vision, so sometimes that connection doesn't doesn't meet up. So I found myself struggling, going from job to job, trying to find the right place, and you know, also we're just very underpaid and and. If we can find a right way to show or give more exposure to what we're doing, I'm sure we can get more funding, more appreciation from the right people. And I think that's where it came from. It came from just frustration. You mentioned uh, payment, so uh, uh, you obviously want to pay yourself. Is there a certain business model? How do you make money? Um, at the moment, I'm just we just we just. Mm. At the moment, I guess it's just mainly about putting people out there first, but um, in, in terms of everything else, it's just advertisements and stuff, because it's obviously editorial, so you get a lot of your funding from advertisements, and we're just trying to find the right investments as well, so, yeah. Uh, every entrepreneur, and you said already, so has a lot of problems and uh, blood, sweat and tears, so yes. what was the biggest problem with you with the company, and, and how did you solve that? Um, as an entrepreneur, your problems never end, so <laughs> it's never the past, it's always right here and right now. Um, we, you know, like, like I was just talking about fi finance, you know, knowing that you don't have a steady income is one of your biggest, you know, <coughs> issues. And, you know, it's just, it's all about the passion. So sometimes you might not even get any money in a month or in two and in six and know that you love what you're doing and, and you're just pushing it. Um, but you know the struggle is having to know you're doing it all on your own. You don't have a big system backing you up. You don't have someone helping you or telling you what to do. You're doing it yourself. You're that. You're the man who makes everything happen, or woman in my case. <laughs> so yeah. So uh, making it happen uh, is already working out. So where are you at uh, in three to five years? You think? Ooh. What I see, like the company being, is just. I don't even, I want to eventually get international, but we, we are focusing on just being a great national brand. So I see us being on a big scale level as some of the biggest agencies you know of, like Olga V, but then not as an agency, but as a creative um, ecosystem, you know, just, just where we're housing all these different individuals. So we just, I just want a space where I can call it our home. That's, that's five years from now and obviously money. <laughs> yeah. Okay.